Over the last seven months, I've felt weak and depleted. And I know I'm not alone here. The world is heavy. And when we seem to start to get back up, the world seems to be going in the right direction again, we seem to get pushed down somehow. And I don't have the answer. I don't have the solution. I can't change what's happening to me, what's happening to you guys. But if I know one thing, it's that when you get pushed down, your only option is to find a way to get back up. We can be And if whatever is pushing you down in life feels too strong, your only other option is you have to get back up stronger. Here begins my weightlifting story. Here begins me becoming the strongest version of myself. Here's my starting point physically. Because I'm a sucker for documenting and I think it'd be cool to look back and see how my body changed, but honestly, this is all about mental for me. So this is my first week of weightlifting in five years. Yes, I used to weightlift back in the day, but uh, I just fell out of love with it. I think I went too extreme. I was always broken. I found myself wanting to do a whole bunch of other things, no desire. And so I took many years off it, but I think it's like, yeah, four to five years since I've like been on a weightlifting program. So having the odd challenge, do a few moments of it. Today, I have no idea what I want to do in the gym. I'm just going to go into the gym and do whatever I feel like doing. I love it just to get some momentum going. We got a superhero-esque costume on because we need to feel good, we want to feel excited, I want to get to the gym, I want to lift things up, put them down. So let's go do that. Day one of getting back into weightlifting and I decided to follow no program. It wasn't leg day, there was no counting reps, it wasn't three by 12, nothing. My only mission was to get in and just assess where I was at physically, but also see how it mentally affected me. Fun. It was just like 30 minutes. You feel a little that post weightlifting kind of adrenaline. It just it feels good. I felt weak because <laughs> of like I'm lifting like 15 pound weights, five pound weights. Very humbling. I feel like badass. I miss that feeling. That was nice. Also, it's so embarrassing. I only did weightlifting for one day. I did next to nothing, and my butt is so. Sore. The ultimate test. <gasps> the sitting on the toilet is the ultimate post leg day soreness, doms hitting you, pain. And no, I'm not literally sitting on the toilet. I have pants on because that's R rated. I don't have an OnlyFans. to bring you a special report. So you guys know my theme for the last few weeks has been just like filling myself up, fueling myself. So obviously getting enough calories, feeling stronger, taking time off to rejuvenate myself mentally, filling like time with friends, like all that kind of stuff. And a big thing is not just getting enough calories. That's been important. I'm at more of a maintenance weight now, but also enough nutrients. Let's see what we got right here. We got a bowl of oranges. Fresh basil. Yeah, maybe that's not bad. I keep preaching this because it's just important to me. It's about getting enough calories, eating the food I like, but also just getting in enough nutrients. And another thing I have been using for about a month that's been helping a ton is Ritual. I've always wanted a multivitamin. I never get multivitamins because a lot you just piss and aren't good quality. And, but I like the idea of nutritional insurance as I've talked about before. So yeah, every morning with breakfast, I pop two of these bad boys. Is that little guys not the big horse pills? These two easy to take capsules provide nine nutrients to support a strong foundation for your health. And it's full of the things I actually want, not just random vitamins and minerals, which I'm a big fan of. They're vegan, there's vitamin D, which we all know is so important. Day's getting shorter, you need more of that sunny D vitamin. It's got omega threes, because we need the healthy fats. I don't feel this upsets my stomach. Like I always liked the idea of taking a multivitamin just as backup, but I never did because I never found any that were even worth it. I, Ritual is the first time I've actually been like, you know what, this is a solid formula. It's actually backed up what 
is on the label, is in the pills, and they're easy to take, great high quality. Specifically for my ladies who wanna fill the gaps in their diet, there's Essentials for Women that I've been using, and I've got a special discount for you guys, because if I'm gonna tell you about a product, I want you to save your dollar bills. And that deal is 10% off your first three months if you use my link right here, which is ritual.com slash Kelty, and then use the code Kelty at checkout to save 10% off your first three months of getting all these multivitamins, because just back up, we need all the nutrients we can get, especially on days where your diet is full of pizza and beer, because, um, guilty. <laughs> I'm such a sucker for things like this. He says day one, day 15, day 30, because this is a month's supply. So you can actually tell if you're forgotten to take your pills, because if it's like day 28 and you're still up here, you're like, mm, I suck, because I need things like this. <laughs> enjoying about weightlifting which I never thought about associating it this way because usually we think of weightlifting as like athletic performance, swole, shredded. It's been complete self-care for me. I have always been marketed towards like self-care is facials, tanning your body. and That sometimes is a form of self-care, but sometimes that is self-maintenance. And fitness can sometimes be self-maintenance, not self-care. Some days spending it getting ready and girly and looking good is pure self-care. But other times it's just like, the stuff you have to do like a doctor's appointment. Now, and actually I got this quote from Joelle and she sent this to me and I thought this was really good. Real self-care can't be bought. It isn't just spa days and facials. Real self-care is a series of tough decisions. The decision to be more disciplined, to address your reoccurring toxic thoughts, to prioritize your mental health and to put your own happiness over your history. That may have been one of my like top three lessons of 2020. Okay, one of the best ways to create a ha habit, change your lifestyle, I've learned over the many of years, is consistent habits every day. And science says it takes 66 days to fully cement a habit. And because this challenge isn't necessarily just physical, it's also mental, it means I want to weight lift every single day and not break it. But that will burn you out, you need rest days, you need recover. So, about once or twice a week, I'm just going to lift something. So the habit's still there, I'm doing it every day, but like you pick up one thing, it's not gonna set you back. So today we are just going to pick up, um, just in my apartment, I am in sweatsuit. <laughs> this will work. Overhead squat. Huh? Oh, I need warm up. Deadlift. Huh? This is really bad for Shoulder press. Don't hit the roof. Squat. Five, one. A reason I think I grew out of love of weightlifting back in the day was because it left me so broken. And a big reason for that was I never did any kind of mobility work. This journey, I'm being very conscious of hyper-focusing on mobility while I do any form of weight training. Day six, and yesterday all I did was obviously not a workout, I just lifted a stool. But I'm back to the gym today and I'm excited. So I think I have to find balance of like not going 100% because I'm excited every day. I, I heard a quote once for writers, stop 10% before you want to or something, like that. Uh, this one writer does that. And I'm trying to do that concept a bit. I'm used to using like 10% over. Sometimes I notice if I just stop a little bit before I want to, the next day I'm like, hey, let's go, let's go. And so there's a different, it's just a different concept that I'm kind of trying. So, you know, yesterday was easy and now I'm like, okay, let's go, let's get to the gym. And my 
my body's barely changed. If anything, it's just like a little puffy because usually when you get back into weightlifting, there's a bit of stress, there's a bit of water retention. That's totally normal. You just kind of got to give it a few weeks and realize you're my body. Your body might not be used to it. I've known every time I get back into weightlifting, this has happened in the past, so I'm not stressed out. If I'm looking a little puffier, we're thinking long term. We're thinking in a couple months down the road, which is also why I want to do this. I feel momentum being built and I needed that. I needed a goal. I need to feel excited about working out. I think small little steps every day is what I need. Pretty much the science behind doing something for 66 days is how to concretely build a habit. Now we hear 21 days, but even 21 days, I don't think fully cements it. Like a habit, a long-term habit has to get to the point of like, it's easier to do than not to do. And after 21 days, I think you're getting routine, but it's not a habit, if you can see the difference. So that's why my goal is to weight lift every day for 66 days. This is kind of not a really science-based way to weight lift. I think I'll get more into that as this journey progresses, but for me, it's just doing something accountable to feel stronger every day for 66 days. And weightlifting is just such a good metaphor for that. So, you know, it's maybe two to three days a week really intense, two to three days more recovery as rehab, and you know, one to two days of, I literally just have to pick up an object. <laughs> I feel confidence is making a promise to yourself and holding yourself accountable. And that's, I'm saying to you guys, to remind myself, because we all need to be accountable to ourselves to be the best version of ourselves, especially when the world seems to want the opposite for us all right now. But I want the best for you, because you're amazing. You, Becky, you, Samantha, Melissa, Megan, Trisha, I love you all. Hope you have a great day. Go pet dog. Love you. Bye.